<laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet. I told you three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Hey, who's there? Hey, Chloe, your hair. When did you? Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Sure doesn't seem like home. There's someone else's shit all over the bathroom. Well, we've always talked about needing a bigger bathroom, haven't we? Seems like it's big enough for you two. I'm not staying long, anyway. Just here to pick up something. Are you coming home tonight, Mom? I, I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. Don't worry about me, okay? I I can take care of myself. Well. Will you at least tell me where you're staying? I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> really? What does that mean? <sighs> It means that from today forward. I'm going to take you at your word. So, if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. The idea is, you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. David's lying to your face, Mom. He searched my room. What? You didn't know? Detective Dickwad here went through all of my drawers and my bed. It's what you asked me to do. Make sure she's got no drugs or alcohol for her own good. Oh my goodness, Chloe. I'm sorry. I thought that. I'm sorry, Joyce. I didn't know this would、It's、upset Chloe. you. It's Chloe. Who deserves the apology? Well, Chloe, I'm sorry that I violated your privacy. I did it with your best interest in mind. That's it. That's your apology. Well, now 
I thought that... What about sorry for not trusting me in the first place? And convincing my mom to mistrust me, too? That's not David's fault. What about sorry for calling me a loser? And always talking to me like I just came out of juvie? What about sorry for lecturing me all the time when you're fucking no one? You're not my dad. Who the hell gave you that right? What about sorry for moving in with my mom against my wishes? Chloe. Chloe, I know you don't like me. I know you think I don't understand you. But I do. I've been meaning to show you something. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Think about what I've said. The last person I would ever talk to about my dad is you, Chloe. Think it over for more than a, a minute. It's a basic courtesy, you know? when people offer to help. You're out of your fucking mind. You disrespectful little shit. You just made a serious hey, mistake. both of you. You don't scare me, asshole. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck.
with me here. a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Not helping. Special treat for all you Sunday Funday listeners out there. Live in Seder Studios, Skip Matthews, lead singer of The Pisshead, one of the Bay's hottest new bands. Say this hi to the fans, Skip. Going to the fuck up. Hi, fans. Now, Skip, I understand you work as a security guard at Blackwell Academy. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Uh, th that's, Maybe. That's true. <laughs> Keep kitties safe by day and helping their faces off by night. That the plan, Skip? Sick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Fantastic. We're about to play a brand new track from his head. And if you haven't heard these guys yet, what I want you to do is crank that stereo up as loud as it goes. If anyone complains, what do you tell them, Skip? Uh, his head rules? Nailed it. Hmm. <laughs> what do I see? Oh. Hi. some problems. Just need to match them to the right tool.
This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. Nothing doing. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Much better. There. Fits like a Deadly electric glove. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Go back from whence you came. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Please, I need you. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Hey, holy shit, your hair, it's so <laughs> badass. <laughs> exactly. Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out?
Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? It's right here. Obviously, I was going to give it to you. You don't have to be such a dick about it. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, Suddenly, it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? No. I, I was just asking for some help. It's not a big deal. No. Maybe I'll make it one. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. Okay. Then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman. This is between us and Frank. It's none of your fucking business. Problem is, you made it my business. And your tough girl shit is starting to get on my nerves. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to. And how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Oh! Ah! Oh, you fucking bitch!
Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? I, I think he wanted to scare us, so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? It was... it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. Quick-tempered, rash, 
I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What if Rachel still wants to meet Sarah? After all this, I'm hoping she'll finally see reason. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Steph. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. If I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. What's there to do around here? One more hour of waiting and I would have read that. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. And what about Damon? Is, is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh, that's weird.
Frank's business must be booming. Shit. I really hope he's okay. Come on. <laughs> Not that I have any coins anyway. <laughs> oh man. Jackpot. These all firefighters? Mom brought so many of these home when Dad died, and not a single one described how I felt. Pretty sure the hospital nutritionists meet here after hours. Pig out. Guess the citizens of Arcadia Bay aren't feeling so generous. Is this Drew's room? All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. Well... It was nice meeting you. Likewise. Oh, excuse me. Hey! You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh, I'm not sure actually. It's too early to tell. Sorry to hear it. It's, it's all good. Hmm. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. I figured it might fit with my new barbarian look. You know, a war paint. Awesome. Nerds. Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What? happened she got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick seriously 
it, it wasn't because of me, was it? No. Somehow, we've got our own shit with him now. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. Man. Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Eat that right now. Hey, sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by. Feel better. I, I mean, no pressure. I, I know it's gonna take a while. You know what? I'm kind of tired. Oh. Oh, uh, right, right. I'll, um, I'll leave you alone. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. Hey. <laughs> I think the football team needs thicker helmets. Yep. Definitely too many concussions. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. I wonder if Drew will ever play again. That'll be an interesting read. All right. I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah? Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. Even express thank you so much. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's. It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. That's what James keeps saying. He's so strong in a crisis, you know. M my dad was like that. 
I am sure he was, just like his daughter. I just keep feeling like we were lucky. It could have gone so much worse, you know? I am sure it would have been if you weren't there for her. I am so glad you and Rachel have found each other. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll... Come back in a little while. <laughs> My guardian angel. <laughs> I saw Steph earlier. She says, Hey. That's so cute, but not as cute as you. Stop. I mean it. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? <laughs> You're here because of me. I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I just, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. Don't do that again. Play the damsel in distress? <laughs> you got it. No. Attack a Sega with a two by four. That was crazy. News flash, Chloe. I'm a little crazy. <laughs> crazy hot. Happy that your dad's here. I mean, I'm still mad at him for everything he's done. But it felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like on Mount Hood. Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. My mom. <laughs> so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But <laughs> I think I still want to meet her.
you sure? She could be completely different than you imagine. I'm sure. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is zero seven two two. To your your dad's office. Zero seven two two. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll, I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe, for everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait. Your hair, it's... different. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's... uh... It's nice. Sorry I bailed on seeing the Tempest with you. The whole thing just sort of happened. Uh, no, not, not a problem at all. So, what's going on with you? Uh, I don't even know where to start. At the moment, I'm here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well, that's good. I guess I'll stop by after I see Drew. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right. Of course. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. I'll make sure to keep you posted. Right now, I'm here to take care of Rachel. Chloe! I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So? Obviously, something is going on. Uh, 
I swear, man. Everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Hello? I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. I'm not going to be able to smash my way through this one. Hopefully there's a key around somewhere. able to smash my way through this one. Hopefully there's a key around somewhere. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. Found you. Welcome to Shadyville.
Sarah sent all these letters, and James never gave them to Rachel? That's so messed up. to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? say hope James actually has this evidence don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is unless I send him a picture This must be what Damon was talking about. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just... If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. that again. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching? I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. Oh, man, this guy's the snitch? He was so cool to me at the mill. Wonder if there's someone else I could pin it on instead.
This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Okay, there's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. Okay, if I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? This guy let me into the mill. Payment? Fuck. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <sighs> but where would it be? I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Holy shit. Fuck, that's Sarah. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Does James even know what he's doing? Okay, I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey! Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? I can't really talk about it. Rachel... Rachel needs my help. I'm sure she does. I'm more concerned about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe... What is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? Honestly, Elliot, you, you can judge me all you want, but it's pretty fucked up that you're here right now, and I don't have time for this. When? 
What? When will you have time? For me? You have all the time in the world for... for Rachel. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just... take a step back. No! You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You... you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop... stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. I took the fall because I wanted to. Rachel tried to protect me. Yet somehow, it all worked out for her in the end, as usual. You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? God, look, I'm sorry I ditched you for the play, but... This isn't about that. Seriously, man, you need to shut the fuck up before... I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot, I, I promise. N- no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened. Look, I I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. Elliot, please. I know you're upset. I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me! We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Here's what's going on. We're at the DA's house, and we should probably leave before he comes back. Don't worry. With Rachel in the hospital, James isn't coming anytime soon. I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're right, Elliot. I didn't want to admit it before, but it's true. My life is in danger. Thank you, Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that.
You're right. I do need help. I need help immediately. Hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I'm attempting to move on, but it feels like I'm being blocked against my will. It takes a lot of guts to tell me all this, and I want you to know that I will always be there for you, no matter what. It's the police. Okay, don't panic. Uh, I'm sure they'll just want to ask us why we're here. What do we do? I'll talk to them. Uh, shit. Um, there's nothing to be concerned about. Thank you, Elliot. You're a great friend. Rachel got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life, and he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I just don't know anymore. That's what makes it so horrible. James Amber, the perfect dad, and James Amber, the scheming asshole, would act exactly the same around Rachel. Oh, sweetheart, you're a terrible liar, so I couldn't have been much better, right? Would you love me less? Not. You sound pretty sure, sweetheart. You were pretty sure Mom would never fall in love with someone like David, too. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? You know what, Dad? Never mind. I don't I don't need to know.
I like it better this way. What way? That I'll always be the perfect dad? How many people get to say that? Don't worry. My ride, my tunes. <laughs> Am I seriously going in to face Demon Merrick? All for Rachel. Crazy. Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, you don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. Shit. Is that blood? Frank? Frank! I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Where the hell is Sarah? 